Right, this is the daily chart of Apple. In this video, I'm going to talk about why Apple will remain the number one technology company in the world. It's not Microsoft, it's not Google, it's Apple people. And Blackberry, well, all the Blackberry really has is just a phone, right? You have to understand now, I'm going to give an education, people, but let's first, before I give the education of facts, fundamentals, let's look at the charts here. I'm going to go to weekly chart. And just let's see. Power trigger trade. Teaching power trigger trade. Correct. MSFT. You know, they got a good trend, right? But Microsoft, we know fundament technically the trend is very strong. Fundamentally, it doesn't compete with Apple, right? Google. You know, as you can see, we're not in new highs, right? New highs were were over here, right? We're below new highs, right? A APL. All right, new highs, right? You can see that new highs. Let's go back to Microsoft, MSFT. Power trigger trade, educating, educating. You know, they're doing pretty good. But on a fundamental basis, you know, one thing we can say that Microsoft does not... Now, oh, forgot about it, this BBRY. I mean, they're at the bottom of the heap. Now, I'm going to... This is a great example. I want to explain this here. Power trade, good trade. Can you make money back? But yeah, but this company is a non-contender. And I'm going to explain very carefully why. Let's go back to Apple, people. The star of the show. It comes to management, people. Management. Apple has... Okay, let's look at all the lines. They have a Mac, which is a PC computer, which is actually growing market share. Uh, they have a phone. They have a tablet. They have a um, laptop. Right? So they have all the solutions. And everything works in sync now with iOS 8, right? Nobody has the solutions. Google doesn't have uh, an operating system for a computer. It's a joke, right? You know, they have a phone. That's about it. Everything else sucks in Google, okay? They're a search engine company. That's it. Apple, by the way, has ever on Microsoft. Microsoft is good for its operating system, but the phone stinks, you know? And, you know, I'm just layman's term explaining this. It's just that Apple has, has always had good management. BlackBerry has not. They've made many mistakes, BlackBerry. Microsoft has not. They've made many mistakes, Microsoft. Google, you know, they are doing good. They, they are trying, but they're just, they just haven't been in the game as long as Apple. Apple has been around a lot longer in the computer business, people. But Apple, um, because of pricing and technology, just couldn't get ahead of Microsoft. But things did change. I mean, for, for Microsoft was king of the hill. It's changed the picture completely. Well, there Apple is simply now king of the hill. And this is a fact. And it's hard to knock off the king when they've got great management. They have great advertising. Uh, they know how to market themselves. You know, BlackBerry's a simple underdog. They just have a phone. They don't have a computer. And they just got a new management recently. You know, maybe only a year. This John Chen guy. But the management has made men multiple mad bad calls, and that's why the stock's in the gutter. Let's think about it, people. And then this teacher union putting money in BlackBerry. If, 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 Apple's the stock that is the best long-term investment. I mean, look at Apple's at 109. Just at the 9, it's almost catching up to BlackBerry in terms of its, you know, if you look at BlackBerry, you got 100 plus you got the 9, right? So, I mean, BlackBerry is $10. I mean, I, I won't be surprised that Apple on the um, is going to destroy BlackBerry in, in, in terms of 100 plus. So let's say, you know, 120 130 BlackBerry ain't going to $30 no matter what. That I, that I can assure you. There's only so much they can earn and how much market share they can steal from, uh, you know, from Google, uh, from Apple, from Microsoft for the smartphone but they don't have a computer right they don't have a desktop and the desktop is coming back people 
You know, if you look at uh, Apple's last re uh, earnings, they made a lot of money on the Macs because people are buying PCs again. You know, because really, uh, you, you can't compare a PC to a, f a smartphone. I mean, the real work, the real, you know, money is made using PCs, people. PCs are, are, are here to stay. You, all these other little gadgets are just ex extras, right? But now Apple is, is, is growing its Mac line, which is a new, another growth driver, right? So a long-term investment, this stock here is more likely to rise over Google, over Microsoft, over BlackBerry. This is the place to park your money long-term. I've been in this since 80. I made a video, I'm gonna put the daily here, about how bullish the stock was gonna be. And I see it being bullish for the next few years. There is nobody that can compete with Apple. Uh, not in any segment and again they have a, a, a complete ecosystem they have a computer they have a tablet iPod I forgot about that then a smart watch. they have it all nobody has it like this and then and all these devices supposedly run to uh, you know run well together to the desktop I mean it's really they are ahead of the game Microsoft is good for the desktop computer um, but that that's that, that's changing. Maybe Windows 10 might might help Microsoft, but I don't think I think that who people, customers that become Apple's customers continue to buy more Apple products. And they say, okay, I got an iPhone. Maybe it's time to, for me to get a, a Mac. I'm I'm sick of the Windows, right? For example, and so this is where they're making money. People getting uh, getting more uh, money from their initial customers, right? So I'm explaining fundamental facts here. Nobody has the solutions that Apple has. And again, I'm more a technical analyst, uh, analyst, but technically this is very strong. Fundamentally, it's very strong. They have so much cash on hand to make investments and keep moving forward. It's hard to beat a company like this, and they have good management, and it's proven they've had good management over all these years. Microsoft, why do you think Apple is kicking ass now? Because they have good management. That's the key. They have very good management and organization skills. And, and they have really good marketing. Nobody has this kind of marketing. Not Google, not Microsoft, and nor does, does BlackBerry have a chance. Thanks for listening. Like the video. Video.